So what is this simple hash join? Again, we have two input relations, R and S, and we have a joint predicate defined, which is an equijoint predicate. So how does this work? The simple hash join takes as its inputs, the two relations R and S, and the joint predicate defined on R and S. And then it works as follows. We first need to build a hash table on one of the inputs. This is also called the build input. So here, this method will take each and every tuple of R and hash it into a hash table with respect to attribute X. So this is used as a key in the hash table. And this then maps either to some row ID that allows you to go back to that tuple or directly to this tuple R. That is the other approach. So that is done in this method. And you can use any method we learned about when talking about hash tables. That's what I said when you remember from the video on hashing. There I said hashing is a building block for query processing. And that is what we see here. So then again, we run a loop that is for every element of S for each small s in the big S set. We probe this hash table. So we query this hash table that we created here, again, using s.x as a key to query. So again, this is a point query, which is well supported by hash tables. And we use this key as it appears in the equijoin condition above. And whatever is returned here must be used for the join result. So again, we check whether this result was empty or not. If it is empty, we don't have to do anything. However, if it is not empty, and that is the case we see here, we have to do something. Again, we build the cross product of the tuple we are currently looking at from S, cross product with a query result set. And this method adds this to the final result. So here you might already get suspicious because we have seen a similar thing before, right? The answer to that is yes, because the, the important thing that's different here in simple hash join is that we bulk load an index. We create this index from scratch. But what if this hash table already existed before? So let's assume the database has already a hash table on attribute r.x. How would that look like? Let's display it. So here we have it. Then we can ask the catalog to return us that specific index. So the index that is returned here is actually a hash table. The index returned is a hash table, just, on the, just like on the previous slide. And then, of course, I can do the following. I just pass that index. I pass this hash table to the simple hash join algorithm. I don't have to bulk load it here anymore. That is why I removed here. So this is a, the strike through really says here this is commented. You could also display like that. This is not run because the hash table already exists. We don't have to build it anymore. And then the only thing that's left over is this loop. So we still loop over all elements of S and probe those elements against the hash table. That is what we do here. So actually there's no difference to the first variant of the simple hash join I showed above. The only difference is that I get rid of this one. This is not executed anymore because the hash table already exists. So everything afterwards is the same thing, checking the result set, adding it to the output and so forth. Well, and at this point you should really remember we have seen this algorithm before, yet we called it differently. We called it index nested loop join. So what was the index nested loop join? You remember? The major precondition here was that there was already an index on that attribute we're interested in. And then we can pass that index to the index nested loop join. And then we loop over the tuples of one of the inputs, the other inputs, so to say. Here, the index is on R, so we have to loop over S. We could do it the other way around, of course. We, we call that index once for every tuple of S and check whether there are some results. So. What is the difference of index nested loop join to a situation where we already have a hash table? Well, of course, there is no such difference. The simple hash join, let's go back to the simple hash join slide here. What is the difference to block 
nested loop. So I write it down here for clarity. Difference, simple hash join, and this index nested loop join. What is the difference? Well, actually not much. The only difference that you could argue upon is the type of index that's being returned. So, so usually when we talk about the index nested loop join, the index is a B tree. That is often assumed. Actually, if you look back at my video on index nested loop join, so if you look back at my video on index nested loop join, you will see that I did not specify which type of index I was talking about. I did not say that the index used in index nested loop join is a B tree. I did not say it's a hash table. I did not say it's a bitmap. I did not specify that. I just said index. So it may be whatever index. So you could say there is no such difference. There is no difference among those two methods here. So there is no difference. Let's get rid of the table. We can't find those differences here. No difference among SJ and index nested loop join. So there's actually no difference except a point in time when we create the index, when we create the index. So typically here, if people talk about simple hash join, they assume that no such index exists. You have to really bulk load it. That is what is crossed out here and is typically happening. In index nested loop join, people typically assume there is already a suitable index. You can directly use it without first bulk loading it. However, this doesn't have to be the case. As I showed in this video, even simple hash join can be run in a similar mode as index nested loop join if that hash table already exists. So if you assume it's the same point in time when the index was created, which means some time before the index is already there, then what is the difference? Well, the only difference that exists then is the type of index. In index nested loop join, uh, so let's write it down like that, index type for simple hash join is a hash table versus in index nested loop join is any index. Uh, and that makes it clear that simple hash join is just a special case of index nested loop join. So, simple hash join is a special case of index nested loop join. That is important to keep in mind. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website datenbankenlernen.de. It has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jens Did, or you look at our website, infosys.uni-saarland.de. See you there.